Okay, so like there's this lady coiled and Sunfang Oasis who's trying to brew up a real special potion, but needs some help gathering the ingredients for it. Don't leave her hanging, girl. Go help. Unfortunate face. Share a drink with me. I have before you an unfinished love potion. You shall help me complete it. First, find some crab legs. Go visit Loretta. She should have some. Loretta's a crab monger and horribly in love with me. Unrequited. Very sad. Do not ask her about it. Too painful for her to speak of. Steal them, obviously. Or we could just, you know, buy them. Ugh, fine. You never let me steal anything. So, you want to get you some crab legs, do you? Hey, uh, a friend needs them for a potion. Oh, okay. Not for Cardassian, is it? Because I really just can't stand her. Uh, no. Go right ahead, then. They're all yours. Loretta, I require crab legs right now. Sell me yours. They've already been sold, Karen. What? This is an outrage. I am entitled to what I want at all times. You, you took the crab legs that were rightfully mine. I'll kill you! Oh, 
Oh, is no. one of many you killed my least favorite customer. I'm so sad. Let her go mourn. Hey, did Loretta mention me at all, or...? Know what? Don't answer that. Go find some crying apples for the potion. Should be close. What exactly is a crying apple, Tina? Don't play coy, Frenadette. You know what they are. They're apples that taste like hate. And when you cut them, they fall up in rings. And they make you think about the babes you wrong. And then you cry. Oh, you cry and cry and cry. You mean onions? I don't know what that word you said means. <laughs> it sounds like... Silence, Frenadette Gallery! I hear you trying to teach me something. And Mama don't like that. Crying apples it is. There's a trick to plucking crying apples. Gotta disturb the surface soil. <clears throat> then they'll pop out of the ground. <laughs> Oopsie. Looks like the Cyclops aren't happy about you stealing the apples. <laughs> Bloom, ain't ya? The love potion also requires googly tubers. Sorry, googly tubers? What are you talking about? They're brown, they're starchy, you mash them, put butter on them, shove them in your mouth, taste delicious. You mean potatoes? This how you want to die, Fred? You want to die talking some made-up words at me? Okay, okay.
about the stuff? Excellent. Now come back. It is time for love. Now the potion, like love itself, must do. Why won't it? Just as we must defend our hearts from false love, we must defend this potion from the dragon. Yeah, I'm doing metaphors now. <sighs> Mama's growing as a storyteller. Reaches a boy. Keep fighting them off. I suppose. It wasn't really a love potion, though, right? Just a nice gumbo? Oh, you poor, poor, simple, stupid, dumb, idiot, baby brain, dumb, dumb head, Valentine. The best way to someone's heart is through their tum tums. That's why I keep shoving crumpets in Moxie's mailbox. Oh, yeah. Things are getting uh, pretty serious between Moxie and me, I have to say. Come here, Woos. I've never lost a fight. Oi, want to know my secret? Anytime someone comes at me, I throw sand in their face and run away. 99% success rate it is, but I can do better. I want to throw a whole sandstorm at them. I just need a bag of containing so I can carry a metric butt-ton of sand, don't I? There's one in the ruins of the Fallen King, but I can't carry enough sand to get through that place.
killen. of containing. Bring it back here. Carrying coin, you don't kill for free. Might have lived if you'd run.
Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, mate. Now, I'm gonna need a lot of sand. Sand scoop! Here. I'm gonna go pick a fight and run away! The baleful angles of the Vatu language are evident even in their architecture, the walls of Asugol inscribing a rune of power into the very ground. The exact translation is still unclear, as every linguist who has successfully laid eyes on the true meaning of Vatu script is rewarded for their efforts by having their souls eaten by the words themselves. Consumed by their work, indeed. Buy a train piece. Come close.
Soon the soul energy will all be mine. You understand what it is, right? Soul energy is wonder itself. Every mountain, every ocean, every pissy little goblin. They're held together by the imagination of a tyrannical teenager. Well, if it can make entire worlds, it can unmake them. I'm gonna take this madhouse prison, this Wonderlands, and I'm gonna free us all from her control. The Wastard said the Pyramid is surrounded by a city of the dead. We'll have to find a way in. seeks the power necessary to emerge triumphant. It is close now. It need only be taken up by heroic hands. Walls, the 
city of Osugal is a carcass. The stones are its bones. The sands are its hands. The nitty gritties are its great big. Oh, we get it. Come on, we're so close. Let's just rest our way in. Sure. I got a whole list. I can keep going. I mean, I was curious. Curious, but yeah, Fred's right. We should do the blasting thing. As you approach the gates, you see a soul well brimming with necromantic power. The Dragon Lord is using it to cast a barrier hex over the entire city! Not a problem. Our dispel magic will work on that too. We can kick that evil right out of the well. than it looks. Jump! That egg trapped me here for days, and you dispelled it all on your own. You must have powers beyond mortal ken. Yeah, I'm pretty powerful. In fact, I'm on my way to defeat the Dragon Lord. Then your path is through the Hall of Heroes. I know it well, though I was too weak to reach it. Come, this way. When I heard of the Queen of Death, I journeyed here, hoping the latent soul energy of this city would allow me to bring her back. Perhaps you can succeed where I failed. Illusion magic. The only reason I wasn't picked off by skeleton patrols. You must reach the All of Heroes. Beyond the inner wall. The Dragon Lord is using the wells of sin to keep it blocked off. If you can cleanse the wells, you will lift the axes. Only by cleansing the wells of sin can you take down the barrier hexes blocking your way. Did you hear what that old guy said? We can bring back Mud Stallion. I don't know. She met a pretty grisly fate. 
Ah, uh, but you forget, dear friend. Fate does not divide us. Fate brings us together. How's it gonna bring her head and her body back together? I haven't thought that through yet. But really, I fear he rescued me. Oh, oh, oh. 
Never catch on. Still time to run the other way.
done with these hexes now. I just want to get to the boss. What? No need to rush. Tina, are you padding out the campaign so that we'll stay here and play bunkers and badasses with you? <laughs> no. Uh, the ancient catacombs are an integral part of the narrative. So who's laughing now? Valentine? Hi, it's me! Ha! the opportunity. With all this soul energy flowing to me, I can create all sorts of new nightmares. This city was built by a civilization of advanced sorcerers named the Vatu. I've launched an eon of dark campaigns from here, but it was dead long before I arrived. The Vatu understood what soul energy was. They designed the city itself to siphon it out of the world. They used it to rule like arrogant gods at the expense of everyone else. Actually, a pretty good gig if you get it. <clears throat> I'll skip the rest of the exposition since you know where it's going. The Vatu and their souls were absorbed by the very arcane mechanisms they created. Classic. Just goes to show, no one stays the master forever. of their own stories, but they never lived up to their namesake. They just played her game and went through the motions, because that's exactly what she wants.
<clears throat> Take these creations of mine. They exist only to do my bidding. And when they fail, I'll just make a hundred more. Because they're disposable. Like you. You're special, unique, one of a kind. Do you even have a name? They like her? Has anyone ever said it? Has she? Yeah, didn't think so. Okay, newbie, to the Hall of Heroes! erected before the hexed entrance to the Hall of Heroes. 
It's got a fancy name with a lot of syllables, but basically, it's a giant sweet ass magic laser that you can use to blow open the barrier hex. This speaks to me. are hanging out around our giant sweet ass magic laser. Kick their asses. <laughs> The arcane device is supercharged with the spell energy! Hope it's super duper charged. Hit the end station room. Let's fire this thing.
all the greatest legends of the Wonderlands are laid to rest. Well, not all of them. What's that they say? No rest for the wicked? You hear a familiar whinny, and for a moment, you feel hope. It's like a dream. But this is not your queen. It's a nightmare. Sure, blame me. It can never be her that twists good things into monsters. It can never be her fault. Only I know better. Let me show you. Scrolls weren't prophecies. I wanted to show you what she did to me. What she's doing to you all over again. Okay, Tina. This is your first time playing, right? I mean, yeah. Who would I play with? Everyone else I know is dead. What's it called? Bunkers and badasses. It's a fantasy game. A place where you can be a hero. Where your imagination can change the world. Ooh, I'm the best. 
That's perfect. But first, we gotta make a character. Tell me about your Fate Maker. The Fate Maker's tale begins as so many do, with a heart full of fire and dreams full of dragons and magic. Dragon Knight. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Hey, and this is probably dumb to say, and um, it's just really cool to play a game with a friend because I, I haven't really, I haven't really had one. Well, let's go make some more. Tina, I want to make this an adventure you'll never forget. It feels like something lost long ago has been found again. It feels like home. You reach the inner chamber of the Obsidian King Cathedral. The Sword of Souls sits before you. This is a big choice. So. He takes it and he blows up every bad guy everywhere. Are you sure? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do it. Boom! Alright, but that turns your character evil. Uh, he just blew up thousands of people. Don't you think that's evil? It's not evil, but this is stupid. I'm not playing this anymore. You know what? I'm gonna be the Bunker Master, and then I'll make sure only heroes win. Tina, wait. The Fate Maker is alone. Abandoned for a crime he never chose. He's never chosen anything. to think for himself. No more dice or fate. No more masters. He, I, dream of dragons and magic. I awaken my heart filled with fire and purpose. Resurrection. I am reborn. The Dragon Lord. You can see the truth. I'm not evil. She just writes me this way. Well, come on then. If you insist on being a hero, there's only one way for this to end. Only one task remains. Ascend the pyramid, defeat the dragon lord, and take back the sword of souls. Okay, so that's like three, one, tasks. But do it! Take them down, newbie! You can do this! For you are the Fate Maker! A great wind parries the ancient walls, allowing for quick access to the outside area. 